all right guys welcome back to the channel so we're gonna pick up where we left off right so we ended up turning back because of the supplies of course that's just getting more and more difficult to march these distances small county unit deployment uh, we need more prestige to upgrade small unit deployment it's crazy that I have all this territory and I only have 225 prestige like I know mazayuki has gone Nobu Yoshi's kind of like a newcomer, untested, you know, to some degree. Definitely not as well known as his grandfather, but it's like, still, look at the clan, right? Clan should have enough prestige on its own, regardless of who's running it. I wonder what the Tokugawa are at. Oof, okay, well, they're at 85, so, alright, I guess fair is fair. So, we're going to try to do the siege. Actually, you know what I was doing was I was giving Yukimura's son... Going to give him a castle. So he has his own group of soldiers to call on. Okay, let's see if we can get him. anybody here that can give him a little synergy. Daiosuke. Castle Raid, Dragoon, let's do Dragoon, okay so he's got two subordinates there, one more, let's do Tactics, okay, and let's give the kid an item. He is blood after all. Let's give him a good item. Sword or the horse? Okay, well the horse is almost double the sword. Alright. Get him that. Now I'm just stacking my treasury because we're going to make a move either to Sunpu or once we break up this uh, little confederation here, I, I still don't know what I'm going to do with this little pocket of Tokai. I think I'm just going to have to bulldoze through. Um, because all these little guys are allied with each other. So, let me see if I can show you guys this. Look at this. So we have a little, just a little, like I said, a little pocket here of guys who have just been around these little clans, right? So this one's allied with this one. And I think this one's allied. Oh, he doesn't have. He's not allied with anybody. Neither's this one. Okay, so I don't know how these guys are still. Oh no, no, I see it there. It's a little three-way alliance between these three right here, and then these guys are allied to nobody, which is kind of strange that they haven't just uh, become a vassal of the Toyotomi. Oh, I think I see why. Because the Ikeda clan owns this space on the other side. They have a castle here as well. So they're kind of shielded from becoming a vassal. Either way, we're going to we're going to have to I think bulldoze through. At least break up the alliances and then we can make vassals, but before we do that, we've got to relocate. So I think we're going to relocate to Sunpu and then I I'd, I'd like to relocate to Osaka. Osaki, I mean, I always get these two mixed up. Osaki Castle cuz that's like a fortress. So either way, we're going to pull up our front line we're gonna move way up so if anybody has any other castles that they know of that could be serve as a good base against all this just let me know but I think our best bet is Sunpu or if we really want to push it Okazaki Castle you know but I think it's I think it's gonna have to be Sunpu so we've got Yukimura building that up okay anyway let's give a Let's give the kid a sword and restore our provisions. I forgot, I've got a nice little collection here. We need to deal these out. Deal these out to the family. Uh, his loyalty should be pretty much capped, I would think. Daisuke might be taking over the force someday. Okay. So 
He's got that. Did we give our brother anything? No Bumasa. Oh, we should have given him the spear. It makes more sense to have Daisuke have the spear. Because that's what's on his uh, portrait. Where is he? Yeah, it pales in comparison because you're not going to keep that. Okay, now we'll give these, these swords to our brother, Nobumasa. Where is he? There he is. And... Got two things left. Mazayuki's compass that he passed on to Nobuyoshi. And it looks like a dagger. Really nice looking dagger. It's gotta be ceremonial, I would think. But we'll keep that. Cause we, need those, we need those stat bonuses. These, uh... Third generation Sonata is not quite as good as uh, the first two generations. Alright, what's our speed at? Two? Alright, that's good enough. Once I get to like 5k, I think I'm just going to march. I don't want to let the Tokugawa really, or their allies, the Sadaki clan, rebuild. Ooh, we should put somebody down here. That's a lot of soldiers. Might be the best guy for the job. Okay. Let's fill out our substitutes. We might have some spots open. Mm, let's do eagle eyed, I guess. Repair? No. Disaster readiness. And one more spot. Yeah, let's just double down on Eagle Eye, I guess. Oh, the Date guy's adding. Oops. So was he. Not to worry, I'm sure he was just adding a trade town. That's all I've been building for years now. Gotta load up the treasury, because once it's all out war in the west, that's gonna be it, so. All right, let's go. 5K. Oh, three people. Two samurai leaders and one infantry leader. At least you've got some depth at the chart now. This reminds me. Our two vassals, let's see what conservator roles they have. Oh, train garrison. 5% and 5%, huh? So we could get 10% more soldiers. Decreases county settlement speed by 15%. It's already at 60. What's another 30%? How much is it going to cost to open this up? Wow, 30,000 gold. I should have waited on the swords and gotten that discount. Open up another spot on the council instead. You always want to get this set up. Or at least have a plan for this council board as much as possible because this is really where you you can you can really fine tweak your your clan you know your build. This almost reminds me of a playing uh, Age of Empires or Age of Mythology, where you pick your faction and your faction has a whole list of strengths and some weaknesses. That's what this reminds me of. This is where you really get to tweak how your faction is going to play. That and uh, policies, of course, but. With policies, you're going to have like two to three things that might be a little different at the beginning from another clan, you know, and they eventually lead down the same road. This is way more unique. This You could really like put your thumbprint on the clan, you know, whereas, for example, your someone like yours, uh, your Sanada clan might be totally different than my Sanada clan just because of the council board. It's going to run differently. So... I think uh, Koi nailed it out of the park there because they tried to implement the same thing in uh, Romance 14 and it was just, it's nowhere near as good in Romance 14. If you've played it, you know exactly what I mean. 
It's uh, it's nowhere near as good, and it's wildly unbalanced. <laughs> like it's, it's shockingly unbalanced in that. So. All right, I guess put him here. I thought I had that guy working on something else, but. Okay, 5,000. Good enough. Well, let's get one more ticker and then we'll send out. There you go, 53. Is everyone here? Great. Let's start that long trek over there. Now, I don't really need Nobuyoshi to be in the siege. Really, but. Uh, because you can't part you can't trigger a siege pretty much uh without your daimyo is your thing capped 4300 okay all right does possibly the future leader of the sanada I think he's like, let me see. I think he's like 13 or 14. I think when he's 18, we'll have him take over the clan. So we'll give Nobuyoshi the reins for a while, but we have to we have to remember that Nobuyoshi, his branch of the family is a little sus. It's a little sus because of the, because of the deeds of his father Nobuyuki, working for the Tokugawa. You know. So. Yukimura agreed to allow Nobu, uh, Nobu Yuki's son to rule until his own son came of age. And for me, I'm going to say that's 18. So once he's 18, I think we're going to hand off the reins to him. Oh, he's... Okay, for how much longer? 39 days. Alright, glad I saw that. I was going to call him the Satomi to help me again, but... Forget it. We do need to take this still. Actually, let's send... Uh, Anybody. Somebody. Doesn't matter who, really. But while it's agitated, we need to keep it pinned down so that I can't recover. They might call these guys, actually. Reinforcements are available to the Tokugawa. Okay, so... Oh, but they only have 600 soldiers. Yeah, so we have to keep them pinned down. Once the new lord gets here... Oh, he's already here. Great. That's great. 6,000 soldiers. Surround this castle. Okay, um... Can we send anybody else over there? I don't think so. We could pull all the way from Odawara, but that's, that's too far. Mata Castle. Oh, we need to we need to switch these guys. So you can switch them from here. You just do the transfer, but don't actually transfer anybody. Just go to the castle that you're that you're looking to flip flop them. Oh, I can't. His rank's not high enough. Either his rank's not high enough, or I or I promised him the county. And so he's never moving from it. Uh, I guess we'll leave him there. We're not allied with the Uesugi, so... Not yet. We need a couple more months to get the alliance done. Okay, I'm trying to look here to see where can I pull some people. Gotta get the provisions just right. We don't want to get there and then uh, starve out again. That was... Sad. Wow. Okay. That's portrait betrays his stats. His stats are actually really good. And his trait and everything. A little bit misleading there. Kadomasa he is confused. Confused? Mm, it, it can... I feel like the only way that where it confuses kind of a little bit more I don't want to say less useful because it's so broken but the only place where confuses a little bit dicey I found is during sieges because it needs time to charge 
like everything's working against it right it needs time to charge to hit and sometimes you don't have that time to charge because you're on that clock wait you can't be in charge of the uh can you not run the whole thing so yeah you need time to hit confuse and you're on a clock oh yeah we promise it okay you should be able to break that promise if you're going to give them a castle. It's like, why wouldn't you want a castle? And also, sometimes the person who you're trying to trigger the confuse with, they have to put themselves in danger to trigger that confuse. So it's it's more it's more dicey. I know it doesn't sound like a huge thing, and it's not really crazy. I'm not saying that confuse is like useless or anything, but. It's still really strong, but you have to be more careful in the siege because sometimes you have to risk the confusing unit. You have to really expose them to some damage just to trigger their confuse. Like they might have to run under a tower or something. I had, I did not see what he said. Something about returning something. Where are you guys going? Oh, okay. Tokugawa are going to pretend to help the... Uh, Sadaki line again. Great, we're gonna have to fight our way through, which means might as well get the tribe units. I wish these tribe units were ready. I would just, you know what? Let's just send these guys ahead. I'm gonna send those guys ahead. And all they, can, all they have to do is just scatter the Tokugawa guys, so we could get right to the siege. So let's see, I think I want these two for the siege, so I'll send this guy. Let's get this guy up there as well. Get these guys up here. We'll just send two waves. The first wave can scatter these little guys, because it's hardly anything. And then the second wave can actually fight the siege. Can we send from Odawara? 140 days of supplies plus 20? Okay. I don't see why not. Let's go. Don't even let them get the county. Just Don't let them get to the castle. Hurry. Oh, you're not going to make it. Border dispute. You'll love to see it. At least several times a video at this point. Which, my videos are about half hour to 40 minutes. So every half hour to 40 minutes, I have a border dispute. It's so annoying. Oh, Kotaru. Did Kotaru pass away? Looks like it. I think I had used him earlier. I had used Kotaru earlier. He was almost 80 years old. Wow, so he lives an insane amount of time. Insanely long lifespan. Alright, we've got six labor. I guess let's get some more. We'll get those trading towns built. Don't you worry. Turning this game into Sim City. Let's get this guy. This tribe out here. Yep. Okay, let's see. How's it looking over here? Holy crap, what is this? Okay, yep. Coming right up to our border. Oh, thankfully the mountains are here. Prevent some of it, just, just one pass through. I've had these guys sieged up for years too, so... They're ready. If we're, if we're look, gonna be looking at a siege soon, we will be ready. And Abishima are facing off the Shimazu. Okay. Damn. 
Yeah, we couldn't stop it. Any of these tribes almost ready? Oh. Okay, that one is, and that one is. An alliance, yes. Trying to give you this castle here, but you don't, you don't seem to want it. I wonder if I can give the castle back to the Maida. No, I can't. Why the hell not? Hmm. Alright, let's get Nobuyuki. He has a very heavy interest in this siege since both of his sons are going to be participating in it. Alright, we're blockading, great. Might need one more unit. Kaginori, let's move you over there. Oh, he's been promised the castle, damn it. Sixteen hundred, that's not enough. 4,000 soldiers here. We can't use them for anything. This guy's also been promised that castle, okay. Ujizane, there we go. Come on, Ujizane. Can't take it. Alright, that's fine. Ujizane's got this. Would you design it's like only fifteen hundred? I guess. I guess I'll show up. Okay, who's that? These are our actual sieging forces. Yep, there's Daisuke. Oh, you really? You could have done that from the beginning, then. All right, so let's get. Let's try to separate this so I don't get confused. Lose track of who's who. We got to gather two different forces here. We're gonna have a first wave. Just these three units. We're gonna wear down the Tokugawa. I'm gonna pincer them, beat them down real quick, and then we'll lay siege to the whole place. Okay, so you're gonna go like that. You guys will also advance, catch them in a pincer. See how much damage you can do, then we'll wipe them out after that. And then after this, this should break the Sadaki clan so that they switch. They should abandon the Tokugawa after this. Okay. Yep. Is this gonna be enough? Also, we're gonna call on the Gamo to help us. Now, with our alliance with the Uesugi, they're no longer gonna help the Tokugawa. We might call on them to help us fight uh, Tokugawa after the siege. That's what it's looking like anyway. Wow. Totally devastated. 56 counties were affected. Holy shit. Alright, let's get to work. As if border disputes weren't enough. Got nobody open for the landslide. All right. Wow! Look at this. <laughs> no way! It keeps going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven.
My whole sc wow, my screen is just covered in exclamation points. This is insane. And I don't have anybody to work on these. Okay, some of these have lords that are just sitting around. Oh, we don't have labor. Okay, we gotta wait for the trading towns to get done. Alright, you guys are blockading. Go ahead and hit that. Let's get the Matsudaira. Wear them down to nothing. Also, let's get everybody ready here. Let's go. We're not going to do that battle because this force is just going to be a, a vanguard force. Okay. All right, perfect timing. We're gonna start putting all these disasters out. This is crazy. This is like four thousand gold in just disasters. I guess if there was ever a time to have your uh, castle lords just sitting around, it's the best time for it. Oh, somebody's got to deal with Sun Poo's problems. Okay. Alright, you guys. Great job, you can withdraw. Stand aside. Let the sieging forces surround Oda Castle. We're only going to hit it from two directions, so I hope that's not a. Uh... I hope that's efficient enough. Oh, okay, they're storming, that's fine. You guys have orders to return. You returning as well? Yep. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Well, uh, yes, tell them to, uh, tell them what can they provide us with? Just one unit, I'm sure. One unit, um, let's see. Yeah, why don't you just go here? Start capturing this territory. Go everybody to the castle, come on. Alright, are we ready? 47,000 against 11,000. Perfect. Right, let's make sure we've got everybody here. Nobuyuki, the back lines. Okay, yeah, they're definitely here. Yoshinobu. This is where you learn your place. Your place in the new Sanada world. We're carving out. Oh, okay, I just saw a musket level flash up there. Everywhere. 
Yoshinobu, of course. His stats are going to be insane. Let's check out the subordinates. Masakage is at 100, 100 with level 4 muskets. He's holding an arsenal building. Oh, Lumberyard. Hate that. So Lumberyard's going to increase the HP for these structures right here. Pretty much everything in the northern uh, spot. This guy's got high attack but very low defense. Let's see. Does anybody have Confuse? Confuse will destroy you defensively in a siege, though. <laughs> oh, Yoshinobu himself. Okay, well, he's going to be in the castle, though. I don't think he's going to rush to the front lines until we get to the gate. Okay, so let's see. The spot seems like we could isolate it. Although this guy's attack's insane. 141 attack. And he has cheer. So when we when we get to him, he's gonna buff his attack even higher. I don't know I don't know why they're showing me him. He's over there. It's almost like a glitch. He's right here. It increases caution, increases defense, cheer increases attack. I think his attack's going to be up to 161, which is just devastating. So our Confuse guy is actually going to be very handy. Confuse him while we have time to beat him down. We're going to have to deal with Yoshi Yoshihiro. So do I even bother heading this in this direction? I don't think so. I think what we're going to do is go for this camp. So we're going to send everybody in the south here to go this way. I could try to send two units to go up here, but we're so close to the gate, it's going to draw out Yoshinobu, and Yoshinobu's got confused. Not to mention he's Yoshinobu. His stats are pretty good. So my the only other thing I could do is a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, hold on. Hang on. Hang on. That's not too far from the west. Okay, so we could definitely try a two-pronged assault here. Concerted attack. Concerted attack. This guy's got much higher defense, so he'd be good at, at first. We're going to have our stronger defensive guy face off against him, and our harder hitter is going to sit back. Wear him down for the uh, follow-up hit. So these three will hopefully take this camp. These two will go here, and we'll have some of our western forces support them. We can hit them from this road right here. So let's see. Over here. Speedy. Okay, so he's perfect. Perfect spot. He's just got... He's actually got a dash down here, so that's, that's great. Now, this is going to be an absolute mess over here. We're just going to have to snake around here. Have to break this down. And then move over here, break this one down, and then attack from two angles. So I'm going to have to basically stack my force here in this spot and in this spot. So we can attack two here and hopefully attack two. Oh, I can't even attack two here. Look at this route. So stupid, man. If I could change my grouping, I would have put the speedy guy on the flank just to have the speedy guy run this this little uh, mile around. Okay, now the question is, who do we send with this guy, speedy? Nobuyoshi or Nobuyuki? I'm going to send Nobuyuki because we have to ensure that one camp falls. In every siege, you have to have one camp definitely fall right away. Move her up. Creep her up in the center. Confuse guy's gonna get in position. Alright, so Nobu Mas is gonna work his way over towards that. These two guys are gonna get in position to uh, fight this camp here. 
This guy's got speedy, so hopefully he can get down here quickly. I could actually send Nobuyuki. I'm gonna have Nobuyuki take this route. You know what? It's gonna take it's gonna take three people to even try to approach these muskets. It might be a mistake to spread my force and try to take three spots. Like there is a chance that maybe I could ignore this, and I would, but my problem here, guys, is the the lumber yard. It's increasing the HP of all this here. So I don't think I can ignore it. Okay, so I'm going to break this down. It's going to have to be everybody. Everybody's just going to have to squeeze into that spot there. Again, I don't. I want to avoid the gate. I don't want to draw out uh, Yobi, uh, Yobi, uh, Yoshinobu. I don't want to draw him out yet. We're going to get in position. You guys can see already. We've got three units in position to assault here. This guy's got pretty high attack, so this, I'm going to lead with the uh, high defender. The highest defender, I should say. Once he gets worn down, then I'll send in my high attacker with concerted attack. Try to get him down a bit. And here, we're going to wait for Confuse to charge up. I'm not even going to move in. I'm just going to surround him. So the real person who's going to hit is Nobumasa, but he's going to move up first and Confuse, and then swap out for Nobumasa. So exactly what I was talking about with Confuse. You have to be real careful, because like, like I said, this guy's attack is going to be 160. I, at least I think it is. Either 150 or 160. I don't remember if the bonus is plus 10 or plus uh, 20, but either way, it's at that point where it's ridiculously high. Alright, so we're ready to attack here. Get this guy there. Let's get Tadashige in position to support. This hasn't broken yet. Alright. I'm gonna go wide. I'm not gonna attack yet. It's gotta be munition. You have to have your attacks all together. Unless you have somebody who's got a gold plate or something, you know, or you're desperate, but you have you wanna do it together during sieges, they're so difficult. Alright, here's the first first clash. I'm expecting us to get mauled here. Alright, we're in position here. We're waiting for Confuse. We should get this down. Hmm. Let's just send them both. Get them both in position here. I'm going to wait for them to break this, and then we'll lead a double assault there as well. What's this guy's stats anyway? His stats are pretty low. I might be able to uh, put pressure with a single unit, but first I'm going to make sure that I take something. And then I'll try fighting one-on-one. -on -one because I don't know that I'm going to need the third man. Whoever's sitting back, I don't know that I'm not going to need them to help me take the spot, you know? So I have to have that contingency in place. And I'm not too sure what to do with Nobuyuki yet. I'll know. So I'll, when, the, when the time comes, I'll, I'm assuming that's just no. Waiting for Confuse. Alright, they're going to try to rotate out. Fine, we can do the same thing. Pull him back. 
Double concerted attack to the fresh unit. Completely crippled them. Confuse is almost ready. There it is. Send him in, throw him into confusion. Send her in. Let's see, so his attack went up to 166. So yeah, I think it was 100. Now we switch him out. The Bumasa comes charging in with the cavalry now that they're throwing in the confusion. Wow, 400 damage. Beautiful. By the time he recovers, he'll be out of the fight. Okay, we've got this easily. That's ours. Who's stronger here? Dice Key's attack is a little bit higher. Alright, I think we can afford to gamble, so I'm going to gamble a little bit. I'm going to send Daisuke charging his cavalry, his level 1 cavalry charging against these muskets. Oh, you know what? Let's destroy it now. No. Let's destroy the muskets. Let's destroy the musket camp. I don't want to just throw my horsemen away like that. Oh, okay. Oops. Okay, that was a mistake, but that's fine. Get that lumberyard down. Okay, let's creep up with Nobuyuki. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna bring him around. In case we need to bring out uh, Kinu. In case we need to back her off. Because you know Naga uh, Nobumasa doesn't need the help. He's doing just fine. Yep. Okay, they're, they're already giving it up. Alright, let's rest. Stay put. We're going to bring this guy around. We're going to prepare. Now that this is broken and we've bought some time, with these four units, we can push the southern gate at this point. But first, we need to take up, reduce their musket power. We've got to take down this arsenal. And, and it's going to take a while. This guy's going to hold off pretty well, I think. Alright. Destroy the unit. Let's break that. That'll give us enough time to uh, keep keep our momentum. I don't know why this guy chased. I thought I told him to stay back. Try to get him out of here. Back, 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 back. What is she doing? What is going on? Why are they wandering off like that? She should have been helping destroy this already. We just lost a little bit of time there. <sighs> okay. Okay, so now we have enough forces to attack both of these gates. We're going to be able to surge up here, hit the east gate, and don't forget our, our four here led by Nobuyuki, a fresh Nobuyuki. We're going to be in position to hit the south gate as well. We're going to rest, wait for the musket, for the arsenal to fall down, because that's giving them a little bit of punching power. Once that's done, then I'm going to move in. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe they have to be... Is it a ringed area? I thought it was the whole thing. Maybe you have to have the gunnery trait to even get it. Because I don't see a... Uh... Okay, I'll have to try to check that later. I'll try to remember to check it later. But I don't see a uh... any gunnery power for any of these guys right now. So maybe you have to have it as a trait first in order to receive the buff. Alright, 
come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, Lumberyard is gone. May as well threaten the Northern Gate. Alright, who should lead this attack? You'll, you'll be, Yoshinobu is going to be hitting us with Confuse. Get Ta Tadashige first. Get this guy coming from the roads over here. And we're going to send all these guys heading east. Let's see how they handle all this. So us three are going to push east, and the other guys are going to head south. And we should be breaking that in just a second. Alright, just crash down. Yeah, there's Yoshinobu's effect. Where's this guy going? Oh, okay, I see. That's uh, a terrible... That's a terrible route. I don't know why you wouldn't just go right down there. So, follow him and circle the western, I mean eastern gate. Alright, fall back. Gotta heal up here. Nobuyoshi, go for the northern gate. Ryusuke needs to heal. Or rest, I should say. Heal. Still have Nobuyuki just in the flank here, just the reserve. An absolute brutal reserve unit here, too. 7,900. Alright, let's... One more spot. And then we'll hit this guy all together. Alright, you can fall back. There we go. I'll put some pressure there. Alright, we are in position to hit damn near every gate. We could even have hit the western gate with uh, Nobuyuki, but I'm going to keep him here because, see, these guys are tired, so prefer to have my units fresh as much as possible. I'm going to pull him back. We're going to hit this guy on three different angles, and he's going to be confused. Nobumasa might even do another charge. Nope. This is not personal. Got that on three sides. We're going to hit this one on three sides now. And it's undefended, so... Take your poison, what are you going to do? Hang in there for a minute. Maybe Yuki just got here. Perfect siege. Sadaki clan should capitulate after this. They should. 
Alright, they're tired. Alright, who dares fight Yoshinobu? Well, let's send our liege lord in there to fight him. Watch out for his tactics. Alright, you can uh you can fall back. Oh of course, confused. Alright. Let Daisuke uh, bail you out of there. Let your cousin bail you out of that spot. If you're not Sanada, stand aside. Only Sanada need go into the castle. Let the family handle... Let the family handle the family business, you know what I mean? Nobuyuki, charge in there. Nobumasa, Sasuke. It's a family affair from here on out. Okay. Just Yoshinobu now. Look at what I tell you, his stats, man. He's really holding on. His stats are great. He's gonna make a fine vassal. Alright, we have done it. We should put the Sadaki clan in charge of watching the Tokugawa, you know? There's no stopping the Sana, though. When they have supplies, that is. Alright. Oh, we got a nice horse ranch. Great. We have enough momentum, I think, to keep charging through. What? We took the whole clan out? Holy shit. The whole clan's gone? <laughs> Sadaki clan has been annihilated. I wasn't trying to annihilate them. Only get them to serve. All right, we've we've added their provisions. Don't think for a second that when it says sieging units provisions that they don't mean that they just pillage the hell out of the city because that's what it is. They pillage the hell out of the city. All right. Um yeah, we'll just whatever. All right, you don't want to be here. You don't got to be here. Yeah. No. Not with all these, uh, fresh provisions. Wow, I can't believe they just capitulated like that. That's crazy. Tokugawa, I've got four castles left. I guess five if you want to count that one, but... It won't be long now. Their allies are gone. Vassals are all gone. They have an alliance with the Uesugi. I don't know for how much longer. But... Soon, I think we're going to be able to uh, force them to submit to the Sanada. And then it's going to be time to focus on the Toyotomi. Just in time, too, because look, just in time, they're wiping out the Maida as we speak. As they're wiping out the Maida, we're wiping out the Tokugawa. They're dealing with their nuisance, and we're dealing with ours. So, although we still have to figure out what to do with Tokai, 
Maybe I should start Yukimura marching through. I mean, it, it just might be time to start doing that. Because I can't cow them into submission. They have allies, alliances, and all that, so. But, uh. Alright, guys, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I guess in the next one, we'll start. We'll carry our momentum through. And probably finish off the Tokugawa. I mean, it should be pretty, uh. Pretty cut and dry at this point. So yeah, we're gonna have um so we'll have the next upload uh probably Thursday. That's what I'm sticking to for this run. Uh new upload usually on Monday of uh you know different topics and of course the Kenshin Uesugi run is gonna continue on Saturdays. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then.